escape. So you've got him here in robot in uh, alt mode, which is of course a about the same shade of orange as Energon Landmine. So it's a good color. Uh, from what I understand, I can figure out the big reason this guy's been getting so many requests is because he's getting repainted for the new uh, Universe line as Heavy Load. Or not, Heavy Duty. Which is just like this shade of yellow everywhere and then the gray is like a light, light green like a mint green and it's just not appealing at all plus this right here is missing all of its paint applications for heavy duty I can guarantee you, you won't be seeing it and that's that's a promise for real this time but uh, I mentioned the other day that uh, he had a pretty decent minicon and I do like the little minicon because it's it's not like the ones from universe uh, from uh, classics but uh, he fails at being a minicon for the simple reason that right here we have a minicon port the little guy's uh, minicon port in his, is in his chest so whenever you fold his legs up to make his tank treads his legs are too thick to let him peg on to anything. So then you can you say, well, I give up. I'll just take and unfold his legs. Well, if you do that, now he's too long to be able to peg in right here. So you can peg him in there sideways. So now you can't, I mean, this is, you know, a fairly neat little cannon looking deal. But you can't do anything with it because it's got to go on there sideways to fit on. The only other minicon point, minicon port on the whole vehicle is right here on the back. So you can stick it right there and store him, but he still looks bad. Which is a shame because, you know, he's actually a decent minicon. Uh, I'm just going to do a slow circle with this guy. Uh, the the drum does not rotate because of this clipping into it you can unclip it but then you have a gap right there so you gotta leave this clipped and leave the drum stationary now as you turn this guy you realize wow that looks like a an arm for a back bumper and then when you turn it up to look at it you realize his head's right there so it's you know if you're following this guy down the road you, you can tell uh, there is one redeeming factor of this mode and that is his key gimmick so what you do is you have this uh, hopper on top you flip this over to close it and there's two little pegs right there you flip those down to the sides stand this up transform his little mini mans right here and on the inside of his arms they have some little holes that you can peg him on there so he can't go anywhere even if this comes unpegged so once you get that done you can activate his uh, key gimmick and what that does is the barrel the drum splits and right there you have his uh, he has a launching weapon which the triggers at an awkward spot but at least it makes it hard to accidentally set off this uh, his missile is made up of three different parts they have the main missile this plastic collar and then a clear cover over everything and why would they put that much work into a missile for a figure like this but you know who's to say so go ahead and just take this guy off for now. And basically to transform him, he's just laying down on his back right now. So you take and flip these around like that. Split the legs like that. 
and right now you can stand him up come to the back right here flip the tires down flip this shoulder around and this one has got brawl syndrome it doesn't stay in place his right arm does however flip this down and turn around his head and he is transformed because of the way that this is formed right here is the joints he can't straighten his arm any more than that so if you want to have the arm straight down you gotta actually have it cocked back now you can still have his mini con hop onto his gun but to get it into a good position where he can stand on it you have to have it cocked out to the side right there and like that this joint right here isn't tight enough to hold it so you gotta take and swing it around on top of it like that and from there it'll support his arms weight and the mini cons weight and everything else uh, this guy I said he was finished transforming he's still in his work mode I'm not gonna call it brute mode because I've been corrected and I'm very sorry but uh, to get him up what you do is you spread his legs and you see these little orange deals come down out of his chest and his shoulders drop you have to take and click his leg hold this so it can't un auto morph and stand him up like that because if you leave him spread out next time you pick him up he's just gonna undo and then you're stuck back at square one again but uh, it's actually not as bad as I remember it being but you can still pose him but you just have to be real mindful of the fact that you've got to keep it you can't really stand him on one leg or anything because the weight of him will undo his transformation um, not a recommended figure uh, I would recommend him more than like uh, Skywarp or something like that. Of course, he's also double the price of Skywarp. Uh, this guy is strictly only going to get a 4. He is not great in any way. He has a cool gimmick in his truck mode. And that's the best thing that I can say about him. Besides that he comes with an above average minicon. Um, so that's it. Y'all have a good day. Okay, as I'm sitting here taking pictures, I realize I need to make a correction on something. I said that there was nowhere that his minicon could peg on and be good. I was wrong. And I'm going to correct that. I notice whenever you flip this forward like you're gonna put his little mini con on him there's this little hole and he has you know a second he has this little peg this little mini con port on the mini con so what that does is that will actually go into the hole and I I'm gonna end up regretting not going get my tripod So then, you got a little tail gunner, which is okay, but it's not great. So what you do is you pop this up. And this whole thing will turn around. And now you've got him shooting out over the cab. So... I was wrong, there is a way to get him.